In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool effect where as soon as we hover over one of the images, it will zoom into that part in PowerPoint. And you can do it in any order that you like. So you can go all the way to the beach or you want to go back to the desert, you can do that as well. Now this circle in the middle, it will take you to the home state. So you can really start to zoom and create some dynamic touches to your presentation. And I think it's a really interesting way to present or put emphasis on something. So what I'll do in this tutorial is first, I'll make the layout of the slide, getting everything well proportioned. And secondly, we'll look at the animation part and then eventually the linking part. So we can make sure that everything links together. And then at the end, we also have that little bonus if we want to go home or to the home button, I'll teach you how to do that as well. And we're starting from a blank slide. Now, first I want to drag in the images onto the screen. So I'm going to drag in all of the images and you can see they're all in a different shape and size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to picture format and then set the width the same. So let's try 20 and set that. That's maybe a bit too big. So let's do 10. Now, of course the height we have to adjust manually. So we can't do that for everything all at once. So I'm going to position them each in a quadrant and at least the width is the same. So now I'm going to make sure that the height is the same. This one's good. This one's good as well. So this one will need to crop. So I'm going to crop and adjust that reposition a little bit. And this way we have four images that are equal sized. Now go select one image and go crop to shape. And let's do a nice rounded corner. Select the roundness of the corner, control shift C, select the other ones while holding shift and control shift V to give them that exact same roundness of the corner. So I'm going to position this one here in the bottom quadrant and make it larger until I feel it's about the correct size. There we go. And position them somewhere in the center. Going to try to make it equal spacings. There we go. So we have a nice quadrant of images to work with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that zoom effect. So I'm going to create three duplicates of the slide. So press control D three times. So we have four different slides. Maybe let's do five. So we have the original state and then we have the four different ones. Hey, real quick, if you never want to make a bad presentation ever again in your life, no matter what the occasion is, maybe it's a meeting, a sales conference, a pitch or a webinar that you're giving, you'll never make a bad slide again if you see the principles of slide design. So I've put them all in a program which you can access via the link in the description below. And the cool thing is once you see it, you'll never unsee it again. So you know exactly how to take a bad slide and turn it into a professional looking one in your presentation. Now let's get back to the tutorial. On the second slide, we're going to zoom in on this one. So right click crop. And then we're going to increase the image, not the crop marks, but the image until you zoom in, let's say on that cabin, we're going to go to the next slide and then zoom in on the other one. So you see the top left ones going back to the original shape. And then we zoom in on this cabin. So each of the slides, we zoom into one specific cabin. And the last one, we zoom into the desert one. There we go. So now we have this different states. We have all zoomed out. We have zooming in on the first one in the quadrant, zooming in on the second, the third, and the fourth. So now that we have this in place, we're going to look at that state and at the linking parts. So select the original slide, select the number one cabin, the one in the mountains, and then we go to insert, and then we can choose mouse click or mouse over. So I'm going to choose mouse over in this case, link to slide, and then it's going to be slide because that's the one where you zoom into that part and press okay. Repeat that for the other one. So go to actions, mouse over, link to, slide and then we go to slide number three because we want to zoom into that part and then we go for the other one mouse over link to and then slide number four in this case press ok and then we go action mouse over link to slide number five so this way if we already preview this so now we can see if we move over and hover over this one it will jump so that's already pretty good now we want to have that smooth transition and to get that, we're going to select all of the images, go to transitions and morph. And you see this creates that zooming effect. Now, of course, if we are on this slide and we, for example, go to the top right one, we zoom in, that's already pretty good. But now we're on slide number three, I think. So we haven't linked any of the others. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to start in the second slide, the zoom in one on this, and now we want to put the hover states for the other ones. So action, mouse over, slide number three. Okay, we don't have to do this one since we're on that slide. Action, mouse over, slide number four. And this way we repeat it. So I'll do this one with you for the second slide, mouse over, link to slide number five, the last one. And now we're going to repeat this for the others as well so that we have everything linked on the slide. So here we go for slide number one, uh, number two. So the zoom in on that part, 
this one zoomed, and then the other ones we set as well. I'll speed up this process because you know how to do it now. So now we have done all of the slides, let's preview and see what it looks like. So as soon as we now hover over one of the parts, it will zoom into that part. And you can now hover over to a different one and zoom into those as well. You can do it in any order that you like. So you can go from number two to this one here on the beach, to the one in the mountains. And if we want to go to the desert again, we go to the desert and then maybe we go to the lake. So that's a pretty cool effect that you could create. Now, what you can do as a little trick is you can also always go home. And if you want that, maybe you do a circle. So a circle in the middle here, you make it white, no outline, and maybe we give it a little bit of a drop shadow that will look nice. So let's give this a shadow from all sides, increase the blur, transparency. And if we link this one here, insert, if we hover, we can always go to slide number one. So that's like our home slide. And if we now copy this linked element onto the other slides, let's do it on all of them, that will go to the home slide. So if we're on this slide here and we want to go back to the home page, we just zoom out or click on this zoom out function. Or you can just go from the cabin to the beach to the desert, you go back to the beach and then you go home. So that's also how you could do this. So I hope you like this tutorial. Definitely let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you want to make impactful slides every single time and never make a bad slide again in your life, I have an entire program available that teaches you the fundamentals of slide design. So if you're interested in that or for someone in your team, make sure to check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.